uh, Shri Yati Noza, Senior Advocate and President of Gujarat High Court Advocates Association, and Shri Asim Pandya uh, to occupy the dais. Was primarily the function of kings. During the times of Edward I, King of England, in 1280, it so happened that there was a surge in disputes between the subjects which led to the enactment of the courts of common law and the courts of equity. This courts of equity came to be known as courts of chancery. This function of the king was delegated to Lord Chancellor. This delegation of power to dispense justice was first conferred on Lord Chancellors. And Pursuant to that, with the surge of litigation in the medieval times, with the advancement of technology and science, with the advancement of civilization, with increasing complex maze of laws that were prevalent at that point of time, pursuant to Lord Chancellors, the formal system of the institution of the courts was incorporated. And this is how the two courts, the two primary courts, the courts of common law and the courts of equity, which was earlier known as courts of chancery, came into existence. The Court of Chancery was later, with the enactment of the High Court Act of England, was given the division in the High Court of England, from where, from the courts of common law, the appeal lay to the Court of Chancery. The Court of Chancery earns its name from this word Chancellor, who was originally the recipient of the King's power to administer justice to his subjects. This is the basis of the establishment of the courts of justice in the medieval times, after 15th century. In the 18th century, it so happened that the number of laws available were quite large, and the number of courts constituted were so large that it was not possible for the king to monitor its workings. And that is how, for the first time in 1859, the Code of Civil Procedure came to be enacted. That was the first draft of the Code of Civil Procedure, which was reviewed, amended, and we have the full Code of 1908. One of the very important aspect of this Code of Civil Procedure 1908 is pleadings before the court, which is the subject matter of this legal seminar. Pleadings constitute the primary and the first mechanism known to law for moving the machinery of the courts. And it has a primordial importance because everything that follows it will have a basis and its origin from pleadings. The two other aspects of this legal seminar shall be conduct of advocates in the court and ethics of the profession. There are two principles which are largely followed and which constitute the spirit of a lawyer. And these two principles to which we owe our allegiance day in and day out are these. The first is that a theory which is afraid of investigation is undeserving in human mind. And therefore, the primary duty of the lawyer first is to challenge such theories, dogmas, or assumptions in the court. And the second is that none has a right to erect toll gates, of, toll gates on highways of liberty or on the highways of thought. These two principles form the spirit of the lawyer day in and day out. This is what constitutes our profession. I shall begin this legal seminar on drafting of pleadings, conducting courts, and ethics of profession by senior advocate Shimihir Joshi. With these words of Justice V.R. Krishna Iyer, which he has reproduced in one of his articles pertaining to advocacy and legal profession, I shall read and quote Justice V.R. Krishna here on advocacy and legal profession. An advocate is a representative, but not a delegate. He gives to his client the benefit of his learning, his talents, and his judgment. 
but all three he never forgets what he owes to himself and to others. He will not knowingly mistake the law, he will not willfully mistake the facts, though it be gain to the cause for his client. He will ever bear in mind that if he be the advocate of an individual and retained and remunerated for his valuable services, yet he has a prior and perpetual retainer on behalf of the truth and justice. There is no crown or other license which in any case or for any party or purpose can discharge him from that primary and paramount retainer. The moral defense of the profession of advocacy is more demanding than merely arguing for success in court. The lawyer enjoys a monopoly and in return has to offer his best for the social justice. The true role of an advocate implies a certain sublime detachment coupled with the fearless presentation of the best that can be said about his client's case without dubious deviation from rectitude and veracity. The legal profession as a class must assert its independence and not be a crony nor a bully. Freedom of expression is central to its profession. Only by exercising the right to discuss, dispute, and dissent can we hope to understand what is true and what is untrue or erroneous. May I now welcome Sri Senior Advocate Mihir Joshi to address us on the principles of drafting of pleading, conduct of advocate in the courts, and ethics of the profession. Thanks, Dipen. Our popular president, Yatin Bhai, Asim Bhai, and uh, friends. It's always a pleasure to share our experiences. There is very little that we hope to say which most of you do not already know. But every time in the beginning of the profession, when all of you, when you were fresh graduates or thereafter, what we have been observing is that Naresh Bhai Samraj, volume Ochu. the past five, seven years, what we find is that young lawyers like most of you are in a hurry to come into the profession. The mentoring which was there with seniors earlier, those days are now days of the past and we have come to terms with that. Neither the seniors seem to have the time, nor the juniors the patience to learn the basics of the profession. Therefore, a few years back, all of us, Yatin Bhai, Asim Bhai, all of us got together and said, okay, if this is the reality, then it becomes necessary that we have certain seminars where we share our views. There is very little, as I said, which we teach or preach. But after 30, 40 years in the profession, we would want to share our experiences with all of you. Most of it would be very basic. But we say it out of abundant caution. Those of you who think it is very basic can go to the next step. So at different levels, we want to share certain very basic things of the profession with you. Our five-year law course is this. Most of you know law better than most of us. Because we have intense law and moot court, we have international exposure, we have never seen. So we still believe that our profession is based on the anchor of tradition. I emphasize that by these seminars, we want to remind you what this profession stands for, why you should not get floored, or carried away by the current of commercialization. Thoduk je fundamentals of the profession che, service orientation che, what is your attitude to clients, what should be the perception in law. Ek yaad rakhava maate blackboard, sala apwa maate ke preach karwa maate nahi, pan ek magaj nahi paachal ek blackboard rahe, je, je maa amuk vastu lakhai li hoi, ke je tame, when you go ahead in the profession, you can look back and say, am I still there? Kya badu bulai gayo? A Purto, with that background, we propose to have these kind of interactive sessions. A formal session, this is not, we don't intend it to be a formal lecture. 
this is we are all part of yes my friend is right we are all part of one association one organization do you know that law is the only field where we refer to each other as brethren doctor koi brethren nahi kehta there is a meaning to it apne ke ma profession ma why we consider each other as brothers learned friend kahiye chhe bolvani baato nahi learned friend apne kahiye chhe indicates a deep respect for the kind of the work the other person is doing when we say brethren means all of us are together as part of one institution offering our services a fundamentals bhulai nahi ena mate as yatin bhai says apne ek chhe aa tame lecture tarike na leta i would wish ke interactive session rahe tame bhi prashno pucho ame bhi sikhiye chhe every time એવું કહેવાય કે ગુરુ બે જાતના હોય જે સલાહ આપી શકે નોટ દેટ એની ઓફ અસ આર ઇન દેટ કેટેગરી એક તો કે જે એનલાઇટન્ડ હોય હિમાલય પર જઈને એને જ્ઞાન આવે અને બીજા કે એટલી બધી ભૂલ કરી હોય કે એને ખબર પડે કે આ ના થાય એટલે અમે બધા એ કેટેગરીના છીએ કોઈ આવડત સાથે જન્મ્યું નહોતું સો કાઇન્ડલી પાર્ડન વોટ આઈ વિલ બી સેઇંગ દિસ ઇઝ નોટ મેન્ટ ટુ બી એબ્સોલ્યુટ ટ્રુથ્સ લાઇક ગીતા ધીઝ આર જસ્ટ માય એક્સપિરિયન્સીસ માય વ્યૂઝ please feel free to criticize question that is how you will learn i have shared a small booklet which i think the agps or the others would already be fed up with jo koi hoy jirga dekhay chhe to e to kantali gayi hase i believe that this should be your bible tame game tyare time male ne to court ma bhi please laine aavjo a 1945 ma one krishna swami ayer who was a very very seasoned and renowned lawyer had written this book for young lawyer starting in the profession ana thi vadare to mane nahi lagtu ke koi pan kai sake salah ni drashti e to e vat jo hu je bhi kau chu ghanu badu ama che biju badu niranjan bhai ne kirtikan bhai e dhamkavi ne mane kidu che e che ane baki na anubhav hase let's start with this preamble in sequence pehlu to drafting of pleading jasim bhai e kidu ke ani apne vat kariye મેની ઓફ યુ જે યંગસ્ટર્સ છે આ ત્રણ વર્ષની અંદર માટેની વધારે વાત છે મોટાઓ વેલકમ વિથ ધેર સજેશન્સ વોટ ડુ યુ મીન બાય ડ્રાફ્ટિંગ ઓફ પ્લીડિંગ્સ એક એક ફંડામેન્ટલ ઇશ્યુ બે રીતે એને ડિવાઇડ યુ કેન ડિવાઇડ ઇટ ઇન્ટુ ટુ થિંગ્સ વન ઇઝ ધ ટેકનિકલ એલિમેન્ટ ઓફ ધ પ્લીડિંગ પર સે વોટ ઇટ મસ્ટ કન્ટેન વોટ ઇટ મસ્ટ નોટ આગળ આવો ને આ જગ્યા બી છે the other aspect both relevant is that the first step in your profession is meeting the client please tame important lage note lejo mane kai prashna puchva jeva lage ani bhi note lejo ane bane to a summary of what we are discussing ame site par bhi mukisu which you can share first aspect is meeting the client when you are a lawyer you are expected ટુ નો આન્સર્સ એટલે આ એક ભાર આપણા પર રહે છે કે આપણને બધું આવડવું જ જોઈએ જે ક્લાયન્ટ આવે એટલે આપણી વી આર વેરી ક્વિક વિથ એડવાઇસ એટ ઇઝ ધ ફર્સ્ટ સ્ટેપ ફોર યુ યંગ લોયર્સ એન્ડ ધ મિસ્ટેક્સ વી મેડ વેન ધ ક્લાયન્ટ સ્ટેપ્સ ઇન ટુ યોર ઓફિસ વોટ મસ્ટ બી યોર એટિટ્યુડ નોર્મલી વી ફાઇન્ડ કે યંગર લોયર્સ નાવર ડેઝ આર વેરી શ્યોર ઓફ ધેમ સેલ્સ very confident in their knowledge which is a good thing but a client ne kehvani zarur nahi the client has come with a problem be patient hear him out your demeanor should be very polite patient and not anxious magaj mai na chalavta ke kai gaadi ma aayo che mare fee ketli kehva se ama high court ma ke vidhe rakhu civil court nahi mokalvo aa badu amna jawab do when you are meeting with a client meet as a practitioner as giving service be patient with him try and understand his problem apdi ek aadat che khas karine jem profession ma vatsho tame agal ke law becomes your nature ghare dikro ke wife kai ke etle cross examination chalu thai jaye this becomes part of our nature dikro ke modo to kya gayo to pan e to ghar 15 minute ad dur che tari gaadi 40 ni speed e chale che to atlo time thai nahi it becomes part of the nature पहले थी गार्ड अगेन्स्ट देट इट्स वेरी इजी टू बी क्रिटिकल एक याद रखो आप ऑलवेज पोस्टमोर्टम छे 
વી કમ આફ્ટર ધી ઇવેન્ટ એમાં સલાહ આપવી બહુ સહેલું છે અરે પણ આવું તો નહોતું કરવા જેવું ને પેલો કે પણ એ તો ખબર હતી હવે યુ નો સો ડોન્ટ બી એરોગન્ટ ઇન સમબડીઝ પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ સિટ વિથ હિમ એઝ અ ફ્રેન્ડ એઝ અ ગાઈડ યાદ કરો તમારા મગજમાં કે તમારા ફાધર કે મધર જ્યારે હેલ્થની બીમારી હોય ને કોઈ સારા ડૉક્ટર પાસે જાય અને ડૉક્ટરની એટિટ્યૂડ એરોગન્ટ હોય અરે પણ વજન વધુ તો ધ્યાન ના રાખવું જોઈએ ચાલવા જવું જોઈએ તમારા મગજમાં શું થતું હતું અરે ભાઈ એ તો અમને ખબર છે ત્યાંના તું સલાહ આપને હવે આનું કેવી તમારે પ્રોબ્લેમનું નિરાકરણ કરવું સો ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ઇઝ પરસેપ્શન વિથ ધ ક્લાયન્ટ યોર ફર્સ્ટ રિલેશન વિથ ધ ક્લાયન્ટ મસ્ટ બી બેઝ્ડ ઓન એપ્સોલ્યુટ ટ્રસ્ટ દેર ઇઝ નો ક્વેશ્ચન ઓફ થિંકિંગ એનીથિંગ બિયોન્ડ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડિંગ ધ ક્લાયન્ટ્સ પ્રોબ્લેમ એઝ પેશન્ટલી એઝ પોસિબલ એન્ડ લેટ હિમ સ્પીક તમે ક્લાયન્ટને બોલવા દો વોટ વી ઓબ્ઝર્વ અને અમે બી ભૂલ કરી છે એટલે કે અમને તો આવડે જ છે એટલે ક્લાયન્ટ નરેશન કહેતો હતો કે એ રેલેવન્ટ નથી પહેલાં આની વાત કર અરે ભાઈ રેલેવન્ટ શું છે કે શું નથી વિલ કમ લેટર હી હેઝ કમ ફોર શેરિંગ અ પ્રોબ્લેમ લેટ હિમ ટોક ઇટ આઉટ એક વાત કરવા દો એને આખી દેન ગાઈડ હિમ કે આમાં કયા વોટ ઇશ્યુઝ આર દેર when you are understanding the problem be devoted to understanding the issue after he completes his initial talk je ubro apne kahiye ek var e bar aavi jaye then start your notes ask him to begin at the beginning pehle thi chalu kare note down chronological order je bhi events thai hoy any akhi you take down the chronology of what the events leading up to him stepping into your office એ કેમ થયું વન્સ યોર ક્રોનોલોજી ઇઝ ઇન પ્લેસ આસ્ક હિમ ફોર ડોક્યુમેન્ટ્સ ડોન્ટ રિલાય અપોન ધ ક્લાયન્ટ્સ ઇન્ટરપ્રિટેશન આ એક દિસ ઇઝ અ વેરી કોમન ફ્લો વકીલો ક્લાયન્ટ કહે કે સાહેબ એ તો કાગળમાં મેં કહી દીધું કે આ તો ના થાય એટલે આપણે લખી દઈએ કે ક્લાયન્ટે કીધું ના થાય રીડ ધ ડોક્યુમેન્ટ સી દેટ્સ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ક્રોનોલોજી બનાવ્યા પછી ટેક એવરી ડોક્યુમેન્ટ રીડ ઇટ લાઇન ટુ લાઇન અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ધ ઇમ્પ્લિકેશન ઓફ ધ ડોક્યુમેન્ટ નોટ ઇટ ઇન યોર નરેશન 